ο ηχθής επί του ποτερίου. Ο ηχθής επί του ποτερίου. Ο ηχθής εν το ποτερίο. Ο ηχθής εν το ποτερίο. Εχίρ του ανδρός. Εχίρ του ανδρός. Εμάχερα εν τε χειρί. Εμάχερα εν τε χειρί. Εμάχερα επί τες τραπέζες. Εμάχερα επί τες τραπέζες. Εμάχερα εν τε τραπέζε. Εμάχερα εν τε τραπέζε. Ο ηχθής επί του ποτερίου. Του ποτερίου is in a genitive case because it is the object of the preposition epi. O ichthis en to poterio. To poterio is in the dative case because it is the object of the preposition en. Epi uses the genitive case. In this instance, it is shown by the ending u on the word poterio and also the article, to. N uses the dative case, which is shown by the article to, and the ending on the word poterio. E here to andros. E here is an anonymative case. It performs the action in this sentence. E mahera en te hiri. Te hiri is in the dative case because it is the object of the preposition en. Nominative case is shown by the article a. The preposition en uses the dative case, which is shown by the article te and the yoda at the end of the last. Word hiri. E machera epi tes trapezes. Tes trapezes is in the genitive case because it is the object of the preposition epi. E machera en te trapeze. Tra te trapeze is in the dative case. It is the object of the preposition en. Epi uses the genitive case, which is shown in this instance by the article teis and the ending eis on the noun trapezes. E machere en te trapeze, en uses the dative case, which in this instance is shown by the article te and the ending a on the noun trapeze.